Guess who's back? Back again. That's right, this Android phone's back once more for one more extra flash. If you remember the last time I was flashing Pixel OS and then suddenly I switched to CR Droid. So when I was on CR Droid, I was a little disappointed in myself at some point because Pixel OS was draining batteries and I did not bring it up on video. So when the maintainer of Pixel OS and CR Droid, at least for now, spoke about it in the comments of that previous Android video, check it out, link in the description. He said that he was working on some stuff and needed a whole lot more polishing before it goes out to the public. It was around that week that he was just about to roll it out. Few days after the video goes out, it happened to be the day that he wanted to put, put it out as well. So I wanted to try out Android 14 now, now that I'm done with CR Droid, because there really isn't much for me to mess, mess around in CR Droid, except for the fact that I do have one personal complaint about CR Droid. Maybe it's a Lineage OS thing, but Dolby Atmos integration on CR Droid and Lineage OS are a little bit funky in a way that when you're up on a certain volume meter, it gets stupid loud but then you take it down a step, it suddenly becomes really, really soft. I don't know if it's something to do with software compensations or something, but it is something that I didn't really enjoy accidentally disturbing the neighbors while I'm watching YouTube on the toilet. <laughs> So I want to explore somewhere deeper and look around Android 14 because currently on this CR Droid, it's actually just Android 13. So I want to take it up a step. 14. Let's see what's new in 14. Let's experiment with whatever that's available for me and just have fun. Well, Mel, you said Android is a freedom operating system. That means you could just root and mess around with something, right? Yeah, technically you're not wrong. However, I have rooted for a while, but it kind of brought me more personal inconveniences than conveniences. So like say, I want to root to solve a certain problem, but then comes another problem. And then I solve this problem and then a new problem comes up. It just keeps coming on and on and on. It becomes a little bit impractical for my daily use at some point. While it does bring a whole lot of conveniences, like say using our great sponsor Estimate SE Pro to clear up a whole lot of junk, deeper than what stock Android can get you. But handling root related stuff like passing safety net, and solving Dolby Atmos issues, and even just down to getting fonts look just right for you, it's starting to become really technical that you start to weigh out between how much time you spend on researching and understanding it to is it worth the amount of time you spend doing it? Is it rewarding? Is basically what I want to say. However, it started to become less and less rewarding and it started to become a lot more punishing. Blame Google for that. So instead, I'm just gonna go back to stock clean Android and we're jumping to Pixel OS instead. So if you do want instructions for how I flash to the Pixel OS, check out that previous video in the description below. Because in this video, I'm just going through like a vlog. So as usual, we back everything up and we're gonna clean up everything here. You don't really have to clean it up, but I like to uninstall things first before I leave this operating system. Think of it as like a proper send off. Like when you're about to move to a new house, you would clean up the old house first before you move into the new one, right? So I like doing that pretty much. And that's where I would like to thank to our great sponsor, Estimate SE, especially my great friend Darken, the guy who made it, for sponsoring not just this video, but my entire life of content creation. I wouldn't be here making all these videos if it weren't for him. However, even though it's just a one-time sponsor, I still appreciate the app as if it has helped me the entire life. So please check him out in the description below as well. More about the app at the end at the sponsor segment. Right, let's get right into... Oh, will you focus, baby? Are you going to focus? Right, let's get close enough and let's start uninstalling some stuff. So let's just yeet, 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 yeet. Yeet 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 and we confirm deletion look at that how it just clicks the uninstall button for you and all you have to do is press ok ain't that great ooh that's a lot of apps going away Hey, there we go. We're back to really, really clean one. Hey, hey, hey. All right, fooling around aside, we're gonna get real serious. And as always, I got them prepared already. Since we're just jumping to Pixel OS, we're not really doing anything. We just need the usual stuff. 
Odin, PixelOS, and PixelOS Recovery. How simple is that? Right, let's get right into it. I can't believe I'm going to be doing this because I'm sitting at the edge of my chair just squishing my camera stand like how I would do to an anime degenerate. And as always, the instructions are always available on XDA forums, please do check it out when you need more references. And according to instructions, it says to make sure your device's bootloader is unlocked. Let's check that. Wait a flipping second, I don't even need to check that. It's already unlocked. Because you need to have your bootloader unlocked if you need to have custom OS. However, you can lock your bootloader, but you would need to tell the bootloader the signature of the OS it needs, which is usually a massive hassle, so nobody really does that realistically. So let's skip that. Power of device and get into download mode. Okay, let's get into download mode. Here we go. Let's press the power button. Power off. So much faster than before. Download the recovery image for your device. So we're gonna be on PixelOS's website and we're gonna scroll down to Galaxy Note 10 Plus, at least that's for my device. And we're gonna get the recovery, which will take us to SourceForge and we get the latest version as usual. Oh, while you're here, might as well download the latest build as well of the ROM itself. Don't forget that. And over here, we're gonna need to rename the image file to recovery. Keep in mind that this has to be called recovery.image because Odin is going to read inside a layer of an archive and know, oh, this goes straight to recovery. Okay, I see. Because for whatever weird reasons, we can't put image files directly into Odin. We have to archive it into an archive called tar. How dumb is it? Press OK. And there should be a resulting tar file as usual. And now we open up Odin and we're going to get this baby into download mode. So volume up and down, which I can mash with my fingers. Eh. And the USB cable. A. Going into download mode by pressing volume up. And we're here as usual. Now what we need to do is click AP. Get into that folder and click recovery tar. It has to be on AP, keep in mind, or else you'll break your device. And now we just send her. Whee! You would sometimes accidentally end up getting back into your Android OS after flashing, but that's perfectly fine. As long as you still have access to your recovery, that's perfectly fine. Restart. Recovery. We're taking this the lazy way. While you wait, you can also close Odin. We don't need that anymore. But instead, we're gonna need our terminal. We'll get to you in a moment. Okay, we're in Pixel OS recovery, as you can clearly see. Pixel OS up here. And what we're gonna do is factory reset, which means we're gonna wipe everything real clean again, just like I said in that video. So here we go. Format data. Format cache. Right, now that we're all cleaned up, apply update and apply from ADB. And if you remember from the previous video or any other Android flashing guide video, then you would know by now. ADB side load, then the file name, and we send her. Now with PixelOS, GApps is built in. So we don't really need to install mine the gaps at all. So we just wait here and then we'll be done by then. It's real dead simple. If you want to root, you may also want to flash magisk as well. Uh, gosh, if flashing could be any faster, honestly. I'm talking about you, Apple and Google. Gosh. Oh, fuck. I'm going to stop complaining. I'm just sit here and wait. Maybe drink some water. I don't have my tea this time. 6,000 years later. Ah, oh, finally, we're done. Now we just format data once more. And just reboot. And in theory, we should have a clean pixel OS. And everything will be happily ever after. Just as I thought you were about to be finished, that was almost misleadingly fast. Damn, the loading bar takes a while for you to come out, eh? You cheeky little bastard. 
Oh, that was fast. There was no warning right there. What the fuck? Okay, let's get through the, the setup as usual. Hopefully this should be fast. I really just want to finish recording and start playing Blue Archive again. <laughs> oh, you bet it will take a few minutes. Gosh darn. Oh, well, finally. Finally, we're moving. My camera is almost running out of batteries. Holy shit. I'll get to you later. And I'll get to you later. Later. Screw your locations. There we go. Pixel OS. That's pretty much it. There's really not much for me to say. It's just ye old box standard Pixel OS. But now I'm gonna set this up off camera. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to press like. All the usual yada yada. And I hope you enjoy my other types of content, which are gaming content, VTubing content. And I appreciate the massive amount of new subscribers that I've been getting from that previous Android video. So thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. And with that said, it's your girl Mallory. And I'll catch you guys on the next video or streams. Or the metal. See ya. Oh yeah, with that said, be sure to check out our sponsor, Estimate SE. Here you go. Tired of slowness and long loading? Want to make more space for your stuff? Well, Estimate SE is here to help. Estimate SE is a junk cleaner made by an indie developer named Darken. Some apps tend to leave leftover files we don't need after we're done using them. That's where Estimate SE comes in to help. Now, you can do that manually, but time is money. With Estimate SE, you can automate a good deal of that and leave precious times to the things that really mattered the most. Unlike other system junk cleaners, Estimate SE does not collect any form of personally identifiable info that could be sold to scummy data miners for profit. Nor does it bombard you with a fuck ton of ads that waste your time. Like I said, time is money! Estimate SE heavily relies on the generosity of the community to stay alive and going. App improvements happen with the help and contribution from the great community in GitHub and Discord. So if there's any bug with the app, you're never alone. What are you waiting for? Get your phone cleaned with Estimate SE on the Google Play Store or GitHub in the description below. Oh, maybe I should clean my phone screen too. With that, thanks to Darken Development for encouraging me to walk forward in content creation. Catch you next time! Hey.